coming to the area of segment of a circle. A segment of a circle is the region bounded by a chord and an arc. Observe the figure and answer the questions given below. Number 1. Name the chord shown in the figure 1. Answer. In the figure 1, PQ is the chord. Number 2. What are the two parts of the circular region formed by chord? Answer. Segment PAQ and segment PRQ are the two parts of the circular region formed by chord. Number 3. If chord AB is drawn passing through the center of a circle as shown, what are the two parts formed called? Answer. When chord AB is drawn passing through the center of a circle, the two parts formed are called semicircles. Steps for finding the area of segment of a circle. Step 1. Find the area of the corresponding minor sector O-PRQ. Step 2. Find area of triangle POQ. Step 3. Area of minor segment PRQ is equal to area of OPRQ minus area of triangle POQ. Step 4. Area of major segment PAQ is equal to area of circle minus area of minor segment. From the figure, it is observed that the area of segment PRQ is the difference in the area of the sector OPRQ and the area of the triangle POQ. Area of triangle how can you find the area of triangle having two sides and an angle included between sides is given? Look at the figure. In triangle ABC, it is given that segment BD is perpendicular to side AC. AC is equal to B, AB is equal to C and angle A is given for triangle ADB. Sin A is equal to BD upon AB. Therefore, BD is equal to AB into sin A is equal to C into sin A. Therefore, area of triangle ABC is equal to half into base into height is equal to half into AC into BD is equal to half into B into C into sin A is equal to half BC sin A. If triangle ABC is in the circle as shown in the figure where A is the center and R is the radius of the circle, then here AB is equal to C is equal to R and AC is equal to B is equal to R. Angle A is equal to theta. Therefore, area of triangle ABC is equal to half into BC sin A is equal to half into R into R into sin theta is equal to half R square sin theta. Therefore, area of segment BXC is equal to area of sector ABXC minus area of triangle BAC is equal to theta upon 360 into pi r square minus half r square sin theta. Area of segment is equal to r square in bracket pi theta upon 360 minus sin theta upon 2. Let's solve few examples. Example 1. Find the area of minor segment of a circle of radius 6 cm when its chord subtends an angle 60 degrees at its center. The value of root 3 is 1.73. Given radius r 
is equal to 6 cm and central angle theta is equal to 60 degrees. To find area of the minor segment. Solution. Area of the minor sector is equal to theta upon 360 into pi r square. By substituting the values, area of minor sector O AXB is equal to 60 upon 360 into 22 upon 7 into 6 square is equal to 132 upon 7 is equal to 18.857 is equal to 18.86 Mark this as 1. Area of triangle AOB is equal to half into r square sine theta is equal to half into 6 square into sine 60 is equal to half into 36 into root 3 upon 2 is equal to 9 root 3 is equal to 9 into 1.73 is equal to 15.57 mark this as 2 from 1 and 2 we get area of minor segment is equal to area of minor sector minus area of triangle is equal to 18.86 minus 15.57 is equal to 3.29. Therefore, area of the minor segment of the circle is 3.29 square centimeters. Example 2. In given figure, O is the center and segment PQ is chord of the circle. Angle POQ is equal to 90 degrees and area of shaded region is 114 square centimeters. Find the radius of the circle. Pi is equal to 3.14. Given central angle theta is equal to 90 degrees and area of the segment is equal to 114 square centimeters to find radius of the circle. Solution. Area of the segment is equal to r square in bracket pi theta upon 360 minus sine theta upon 2. Therefore, 114 is equal to r square in bracket 3.14 into 90 upon 360 minus sine 90 upon 2. Therefore, 114 is equal to r square in bracket 3.14 upon 4 minus 1 upon 2. Therefore, r square is equal to 114 into 4 upon 1.14. Therefore, r square is equal to 400. Therefore, r is equal to 20. Therefore, radius of the circle is 20 centimeters. Let us solve exercise 6.2. Question 1. Calculate the area of the shaded region in the given figure, where quadrilateral ABCD is a square with side 8 cm each. Pi is equal to 3.14. Solution. Look at the figure. Join AC and plot two points P and Q on opposite sides of the arc AC. Here, radius is equal to side of square which is equal to 8 centimeters and theta is 90 degrees which is given. Thus, area of the segment APC is equal to R square into pi theta upon 360 minus sine theta upon 2. By substituting the values, we get 8 square into 22 upon 7 into 1 upon 4 minus sine 90 upon 2 is equal to 
64 into 22 upon 28 minus 1 upon 2 is equal to 64 into 22 minus 14 upon 28. Therefore, area of the segment APC is equal to 18.24 square centimeters. Here, area of segment AQC is equal to area of segment APC. Therefore, shaded area is equal to 2 into 18.24. Which is equal to thirty six point four eight centimeter square. Thus, the area of the shaded region is thirty six point four eight centimeter square. Question two. In the figure, P is the center of the circle with radius eighteen centimeters. If the area of the triangle PQR is hundred centimeter square. And area of the segment QXR is thirteen point zero four centimeters square. Find the central angle QPR. Pi is equal to three point one four. Solution: It is given that area of triangle PQR is hundred centimeters square. Area of the segment QXR is thirteen point zero four centimeters square. And radius is eighteen centimeters. Therefore, area of sector P Q X R is one hundred plus thirteen point zero four is equal to one hundred and thirteen point zero four centimeters square. As we know that area of the sector is theta upon three hundred sixty into pi r square. By substituting the values, we get. One hundred and thirteen point zero four is equal to theta upon three hundred and sixty into three point one four into eighteen into eighteen. Therefore, one hundred and thirteen point zero four is equal to theta upon three hundred sixty into one thousand seventeen point three six. Therefore. One hundred and thirteen point zero four into three hundred and sixty upon one thousand seventeen point three six is equal to theta. Therefore, theta is equal to forty degrees.